Hey guys, welcome back to the Cold Classic Cage Show, and I think we are going for video number two, actually, which is, uh, which is crazy. So yeah, video number two. Is this going to be technically the first ever monetized The Haters video? I, I think it is. You know why? Because, um, new Saints Row fans are the gift that keeps on giving, guys. I really, ooh, I love it, man. They're, they're hilarious. Um, they're clueless. I think that's the biggest thing that, that... I definitely get from the Saints Row 2022 fanboys and girls, whatever the fuck you guys are. I, I, I love it, man. I'm eating it up, honestly. Um, I got a comment and it was just so stupid that I couldn't help but bring it up. Uh, because, yo, Saints Row 2022 fans are the most triggered fan base I know right now. And, uh, this comes from thing heavenly and uh, it reads nobody went woke lmao every time somebody says a company goes woke um it's just because they see a single black person bruh do you not do you not know this franchise i mean this is saints row clearly just that first sentence alone hey buddy let me just jumped on the desk. But um, just by that one sentence alone is proof this motherfucker never played a Saints Row game in their life. And I don't even consider Saints Row 2022 to be a Saints Row game. It's just this a, a Saints Row game in name alone. This person has never played a Saints Row game before. And to be honest, they probably didn't even play Saints Row 2022. That's how these weirdos kind of are. They they. The game uh, is a failure because people like this person defend it online, but they don't actually go out and buy it. But um, it, it's crazy because it's like there's one black person in this new Saints Row. Um, do you know who the creator of the Saints is? The founder? That's Julius, bro. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I have played, I played every mainline Saints Row game. Played the first one, loved it. Uh, I was really a lot of fun. Two was even better. Three, I enjoyed, but kind of, I kind of fell off at that point. Four, I played many years after it released. I tried to play it on PS3, but the game, Saints Row 4 was unplayable on uh, PS3 slash 360. It was just, uh, you would go flying in the air and it's just the pop-in was insane. But um, I will say uh, playing Saints Row 4 on, on PC is uh, at least a better experience than the original release. But I mean, don't you know, Benjamin, like, like there's been... A mix of, of characters throughout this entire Saints Row franchise. It's not something that started with Saints Row 2022, you moron. Like, this is, I can't help this fucking comment, bro. It, it's just so ignorant, so lacking of knowledge, um, so not gaming. You, you, you don't play video games, as far as I know. Um, prove me otherwise, but, um, pathetic. Saints Row sucked ass because of the gameplay, not because of any political stuff. Um, look, bro, you not know what political correctness is. I don't think that you're very aware of that. Um, political correctness is um essentially self censorship for the sake of not stepping on toes, just making a rather boring, a rather boring uh Saints Row in general because they don't want to step on on the wrong people's toes. They want to appease, they want to make everyone happy sort of deal. And that's the really shitty thing about it. The problem is, um, effing Heavenly here has never played Saints Row. So the thing is, look, as a fan of Saints Row, I could be the first to admit the gameplay was never that good. It was just okay. It was more so the insane shit that would happen, the comedy, um, the really over-the-top shit the characters would say, that's what really sold me these games over the years. That's why I was super into them. It was never really about the gameplay per se. Um, it was it was doable. It was clearly always in gameplay, from a gameplay perspective, Saints Row was always lesser than GTA. That I can wholeheartedly admit. Um, where Saints Row differed that was more appealing was that it was way more over-the-top than GTA was. And you can create your own characters. Um, that was definitely the big selling point of Saints Row to me, and I really did like the characters overall that were present in the game. Johnny Gat, um, Julius, there's many, many others, but there's always been um, characters of all races included in Saints Row. That's nothing new. If you played 
any of the previous games, you would know that for a fact. So you'd know that you sound like a moron. I'm sorry to have to tell you, bro. Um, you sound kind of dumb. He says the irony. I sound kind of dumb. And like you love the culture war when you blame it on being whatever woke is you. Uh, look, the culture war is the culture war. Um, if I noticed that a long-standing franchise that was against political correctness suddenly becomes political correct, politically correct, of course I'm going to oppose it naturally as a fan of a long-standing franchise. The fact that I even had to make this video, I'm, I'm going to keep it short, but the fact that I had to make this video, it goes to show how ignorant new Saints Row fans are. Look, you can enjoy your fucking game. I'm not telling you not to, but I wish that we that we could add a Saints Row game that is for all gamers, not just, um, you know, a certain group of people that are in the gaming space. And, and mostly this game is for people that aren't even in the gaming space because, you know, you know how, how these people that, that pretend to be a part of the gaming community like to try and shit on developers for not including this, not including that. Um, there are not enough women here. There are not enough this, not enough that. I mean, like, look at Final Fantasy 16 getting shit on because it takes place during medieval era um, Europe. Uh, and it's like they're attacking a Japanese man because of that. It's like, uh, this is how pathetic shit is. It, what the fuck? Like, this is why I speak out about this. And I'm not afraid to. I know a lot of people are afraid to lose what they got. I get it. But I'm not. I'm always gonna talk about this shit if I feel as though it's warranted. I definitely don't try to throw the word you know, woke out there loosely, but unfortunately, this appeals, this game does nothing but try not to make the woke crowd upset. But yeah, guys, what do you think about this comment? It's so dumb that I had to. Uh, just, just an easy one. If, if Saints Row, new Saints Row fans want to throw more shit at me, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you guys are entertaining as fuck. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, if you can, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me over on Twitch or Twitter if you want to continue the conversation. And guys, um, like I said, channel memberships are now a thing. So if you'd like to indulge, feel free to. And guys, with all that being said, I'm out. Peace. You're in the way of the stop recording, damn it. <laughs>